Hey everyone, it's Latoya. I wanted to come on really quick and do a how-to video um, regarding the address labels that I use for my make and take. This light is really bright, y'all. My husband uses it for his YouTube videos. I guess it's supposed to just show you my face or something. But um, um, just to show you the labels that I use for my rollerballs in lieu of the purchasing the whole labor maker and the labels that Lisa Zimmer requests or mentions in her, her videos. I'm sure it's wonderful, but it's not that serious for me. And um, I wanted to hurry up and get my labels on my rollerballs without having to order everything. And I wanted to look nice and neat, so I wasn't riding on the labels. You know how that goes. So anyway, this Think Smarter, Work Smarter, Not Harder. So this is about $5 at Walmart. Sometimes I've even seen them at Dollar Tree, Office Max, whatever. But Walmart, I do know that this is $5. It's the Avery um, address label, just simple address labels that go on the um, envelopes. And there's 750, 30 per sheet, and there are 25 sheets in here. So it's gonna last you a while, unless you're just like a supersonic make and take person. But um, so this, all you have to do, purchase this. It gives you the instructions. It actually has on here the website that you go to. If you can see that, I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Avery.com forward slash templates. And then you um, create a little account. You put an email address and a password. That way it saves all your projects and everything that you do. Um, and they have templates. Like you pick, just like if you were writing your address, you know, on an envelope. It has the little pretty little designs and anything that you can, um, you want to pick from. And it's already set for your printer so that it prints on evenly on each label. So I wanted to show you really quick how to do that. So that you, if you wanted to use a lot, utilize it, you could. Now let's share screen here. This one. Alrighty then. And that's my website. So we're going to www.avery templates. So let's do that. Oh, yes. So normally, mine's already preloaded it, the 5160, but um, let me do it right so you guys know. I know it's simple, but avery.com forward slash templates. There you go. So it's going to bring you to this screen. All right. You're going to sign in. You need to create an account if you're new. Create account. I'm not new. Oh, so I'm going to sign in. Hope I remember the password. Oh, this is Halo Toy. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm looking for a template, find templates, or no, you enter your product template number here. So it'll tell which one it is that you have. All right, very simple on the, um, let me go back real quick, stop sharing. On your envelope here, it'll tell you which template to use. This one is kind of blurry, but it says use Avery template 5160. It'll say it on there, 5160. Don't look at the big number up here, even though they probably might have something there and it's probably relative but it tells you which one fits the size that you have here. So just look for that, whatever number I just label. And if you get this exact same one, then you already know what number to put in there. So you put in 5160 and it brings you to your template. It shows you, okay, these are the labels that you have. It's the size, look and make sure it matches up on the um, envelope. And you just start designing. You design, you upload your design to your computer. It's very easy. And then it says, let us print it for you. No, you don't have to print it for me. I got a printer of my own. So start the design. And I am so not about to go through all this, but I just want to show you, you know, it had, they do have some different, different designs you can pick out of here. 
for your bottles. And if you want to keep it simple, black and white, use less ink, you know what I'm saying? Keep it, we can do this right here. That's kind of cute, a little edgy. And let's just say, I don't know, what are we doing? Which one? Digestive health, let's do that. Oh, this is kind of cute. I like that um, font right there. And then down here, what Lisa Zimmer says to do is to make sure that you put the usage on the label, on your label. So you're not giving them the actual recipe, but you're telling them how to use it. So I will put roll, what did I put on here? Roll on stomach. Let's see, and or, and I tried to change the font, and or let's just say bottoms of feet. And I have a little more in there, bottoms of feet and or um, add two to three drops to glass of water and drink. But just for the sake of showing it to you, have you have the directions, you can change your font, Play around with it. The text is over here. You can change the text, change the font size, change the color, um, but it already has size, match up, everything. So all you have to do is put what you want on it and print. So I'm leaving this here. We're going to print, preview, and print, okay? It does all 30. Now, let me go back and show you something really quick. Because if you do not want the whole sheet to show, like let's just say you just want one rollerball, one label, you don't want a whole sheet, um, then you would go over here to edit all or edit one. And then it would, if I wouldn't have, if I would have did this at first, it wouldn't fill in the whole thing like this. But then you are, you're only doing one label. And then you would go over, these would be gone kind of like to be thorough so let me go back and show you okay so if I, if I were to take this off digestive health and all this off right here come on you can do it all right so bam and I want let's edit all and I had it I had edit one so I wonder if it's going to do that for me now now, it took that one off. Well, you get the picture. You get what I'm trying to say. I just want you to um, see that you can edit one or you can just do the whole page. I usually just do the whole page because eventually you're going to end up using them anyway. So um, you put that on there and then you just print it. And let's just go to print. Print it yourself or let us print it for you. Professional print quality delivers up to three business days. I got a whole package of labels here. I don't need you to print it for me. So um, you print it yourself and um, let's see, you save your design. I don't need to save it. You save it, I don't need to save it. Then you can download um, the PDF, which is great. So you don't have to go through this process again, though they do, they can save your, um, your work for you, which if this was my first time doing it, and I wanted to save the template for later, I would save it in their archive as well as on my computer. So that's what this is doing here. It's saving on the computer. You do save as, find out where it is you wanna save it. I'll save it on my desktop right now. And then open it up and you have your, oh, those are so cute. I like that font. Crap, I, over here, I got these plain ones now. I think I'm gonna change it. Okay. That works. All right, so this is how you do it. And these are labels. You, you figure out how you're supposed to put your labels in your printer and you print them off, voila. It looks neat, it's professional. And then they wrap around the little bottles or whatever bottles you got, you have so nicely. And that's it. So that was pretty simple, right? I mean, there's nothing real. It's not rocket science for that. You just um, purchase the labels that you want. Step one, find out which ones you want. The address labels, these fit nicely. They pretty much, I got the little five milliliter roller ball. So they fit nicely and I can show you, in fact, if you can see, it's kind of blurry on this camera. 
but yeah, it's blurry and this light is just a little, but mine is very plain. My labels are very plain. It's white on the back, but they, it works just fine and it looks professional, you know, cute little roller ball with a nice little label and it serves its purpose. And I didn't have to buy an extra label maker and all the other labels. And I was able to start my make and take immediately. So um, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope that was clear. Um, purchase the, the labels, go online, open up a quick account so it could save your work, um, design your label and print them out. But if you have any questions, let me know. I'm here.